Hello and welcome to Totem English Finland Part 6. So before we get started, I just wanted to mention that I have a course called 50 Common English Mistakes Made by Finns on a site called Udemy. And normally that course costs 20 euros, but I'm offering it for free to viewers of this video for a limited time. So I will talk a little bit about that at the end of this video, so please stay tuned for that. In this video, I'm going to talk about 10 common words that Finns often mispronounce. And I just want to say a little bit something about Finnish pronunciation before we get started. So there's a good thing and a bad thing with Finnish pronunciation. The good thing is it's totally clear and understandable. I never have a problem understanding a Finn. Even if it's a low level English speaker, I still understand very well. But the bad thing is it's just not very sexy. So. You know, when you hear a French speaker, everyone thinks it sounds so sexy, but I don't think anyone says this with Finnish speakers. But if I was to choose being understood over sexiness, then I would definitely choose being understood. And I'm sure my American accent is very sexy when I speak Finnish. The first word on my list is juice. So when Finns say the word juice, they often try to make it two syllables. They often try to say the U and the I in the Finnish way. So it's juice, but that's wrong. So the word is juice. And again, I'll just do it so you get it right. Say, say it with me or after me if you can. Juice. Juice. The second word on the list is guess. So what Finns tried to do with this is they tried to say quest. Like they make the G a Q. And I don't know why that is, but I think maybe because Q and U go together very often. But the word is guess. So again, guess. Okay, third on my list is euro. And this, this is a very easy mistake to understand because when you have the word in your own language, you kind of say it in that way. But in English, the word is euro. So one more time, euro. The next word on the list is suggest. And I think out of all the words in the English language, this is the most difficult for Finns. I think when you have two Gs, Finns want to say both Gs or in, in, you don't have a mixture of all those sounds. So it's very difficult. So you have to think of it as suggest, not suggest, as, as Finns often say. So it's suggest. So think of the double G as kind of the J sound in English. I don't know if that helps, but again, suggest. Next on the list is thumb, or even the word dumb. So any word that ends in that MB, Finns really put a strong B at the end. So I hear dumb or thumb. But this is wrong, so it's dumb, thumb. Again, dumb, thumb, so no B. Next on my list is the very common food in Finland, salmon. So I think everywhere in the world people make this mistake, but Finns say salmon because it's spelled that way, but actually the way we say it is salmon. So again, salmon. Next on the list is knee. So again, this is clearly a spelling thing. So when you see K-N, you don't say the K-N, you just say N. So Finns often say knee or knife, but it's knee and knife. So don't say the K, just forget that it's there when you're trying to say it. Okay, next on the list is a very common word. And again, it's because of English spelling. So English spelling is so unphonetic. Everything in Finnish is so phonetic, but not in English. So the word is receipt. So there's a P in there, so Finns often say receipt, but this is wrong. You don't say the P at all, you just say receipt. Again, receipt. I teach business English, so this word often comes up a lot, and it's analysis. And what Finns say is analysis, and this is wrong, it's analysis. So the trick to this word is, in the middle of the word there's a Y, but you have to think of it as like the ah sound in Finnish, so analysis analysis. One more time, analysis. And the last word on the list is a word that most people get right, but I hear it said wrongly quite often, and it's zoo. So you have to really make that z sound when you're, speak, when you're saying it. A lot of Finns say the J sound, so it almost sounds like Jew, which could be a negative word for a Jewish person if you say it in the wrong context, so you probably want to get this right. So it's zoo. And one more time, Zoo. So you really have to make that vibrating sound in your mouth. Okay, a few final things. So first of all, if you liked the video, please press on the thumbs up below. I love getting those thumbs up more and more, which is scary. 
And also, please consider subscribing to my channel. I also love that more and more, which is scary. Um, and I have a Twitter account. So my Twitter handle is here. And I don't have that many followers at the moment, so I would like more. So there's good little tips there. I think I have 27 tips at the moment. And finally, I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I have a course, and it's on a site called Udemy, and it's called 50 Common English Mistakes Made by Finns. And for people watching this video, I'm going to give you the course for free. So it normally costs 20 euros. So you can find the link to the free course below. So if you follow that link, I think you have to register with Udemy. I'm sorry about that, but it's just a fact. And it's for free. And I think it will go, well, I know it'll go until November 1st. So it'll be free until November 1st. And then after that, it's not free anymore. So please take advantage of that. And if you like the course, please give me a high rating. I like those high ratings too much, maybe. Thanks. See you next time. Okay, so now here's a slide and I'm going to list the words and with a little tip in there and say them again and try to say them with me. I'll say them several times. So really practice them. Of course, the more you practice, the more you're going to get it right. So please do that. So I think the best way to do this is if I say the word three times and you pause the video and say it to yourself after I do that. So here we go. Number one, juice, juice, juice. Number two, guess, guess, guess. Number three, euro, euro, euro. Number four, suggest, suggest, suggest. Number five, thumb, thumb, thumb. Or dumb, dumb, dumb. Number six, salmon, salmon, salmon. Number seven, knee, 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 or knife, knife, knife. Number eight, receipt, receipt, receipt. Number nine, analysis, analysis, analysis. And number ten, zoo, zoo, zoo.